it's Amanda. I just wanted to do a little haul today since I recently got some kid items at the consignment shop that we love and we got some hand-me-downs and I ordered a couple things off of Amazon. So first of all, these toy items that you see right here, um, all of those, the trucks, the lawnmower, and the little train, we got these from our former pastor actually, whose kids are just a little bit older than ours. Their son is a year or two older than Alex, and so we've actually gotten a fair number of their hand-me-down clothes and toys and whatnot, and they're usually really good, good items. So I paid them $30 for all of these items, and guaranteed each of these items would probably cost around $30 each new. So this was a screaming deal on these toys. The first one we got was this Melissa and Doug train. It's like one of these little trains that has the stacking blocks that's kind of like a puzzle that you put together. I've seen these in the store actually. They're really nice, really nice wood like most of the Melissa and Doug toys are. And this is a cute little lawn mower and it actually, I don't know if I can show you here, but it, it pops, kind of like those little old popping toys. And it actually has the little lever that you pull and it makes a loud noise. And look at this, it has a gas can. How cute is that? <laughs> and I think Alex will really enjoy mowing, quote unquote, mowing the lawn outside with mommy and daddy. So we really don't have any trucks for Alex and Sophie. We have a couple of little ones that um, our moms had got for Alex when he was a little baby but that's it. They're living in his sandbox now. So we you know, really don't have any like big trucks. <laughs> and so I thought this would be a great thing for him to use also in a sandbox or just inside with blocks or whatever, because they're, they're pretty big and they're, they're really good. Um, that's one of the cat brands. I think that one is as well. I'm not sure which brand that one is. It's just a little tykes. Those will be fun for hopefully both Alex and Sophie. I don't like to assign genders to toys, you know, just thinking back on my childhood, I love to play with baby dolls and I love to play with trucks and trains too. So these items will probably be either Christmas and or birthday gifts for the kids. Um, and who knows, maybe one of them will just show up in the living room tomorrow morning, we'll see. But I thought that was a great deal to get all of those things for $30. So the next items I got are a couple of clothing items from the consignment shop. And every winter I try and find really, really cheap snowsuit for Alex. Now, we don't get a ton of snow here in Western Washington, we usually do get you know, maybe two bouts of it per winter that where it lasts for maybe a day, one to three days. So it's not, you know, a ton of snow. So I don't really want to spend a lot of money on a whole snowsuit that is only going to be worn a few days out of the year. Um, so I always, always get them at the consignment shop and these were really good deal. They're not like, you know, super high end brands or anything, but like I said, they're only gonna be worn for a few days out of the year. So totally fine with me. They're a little mismatched, but I don't care. Alex doesn't care, so whatever. This little snowsuit right here was only $5. I thought that was excellent deal. And the little winter coat, which actually the winter coat um, we'll use a lot more even when it's not snowing just when we go to play outside and it's really cold and so that one was seven dollars and then these little snow boots those ones were a little bit more pricey um, but they were they were seventeen dollars but still if you were to buy those new at REI or whatever they'd probably be like 50 bucks or whatever for a little kid pair of shoes that they only wear two or three times in their entire life. <laughs> and we have moved Sophie into sleep sacks. She's just growing so fast right now that we really needed to get a couple that were a bigger size. And so I think these are a nine month size, so these might not even last that long for her. We shall see. Um, but one was $5 and one was $6. And I'm not sure why there was a price difference because they're both the exact same, just a different color. They're the Halo sleep sacks. Maybe one is just a little bit more worn, hard to say. So those are the things that I got from the consignment shop. And the last couple of things I got, 
I just bought new off of Amazon. Every once in a while there's just something that I know I won't be able to find in a regular store or you know I'm looking for something really specific that you know I won't be able to find used or whatnot. So um, I have a friend who got these little rain suits for her daughters and they just seem like the perfect, perfect, perfect item for kids to have living in the Pacific Northwest because as you probably know from the stereotype, it rains a lot here. <laughs> so um, I still wanna be able to send my kids outside when it's raining because otherwise we would be inside half the year. These things are amazing. They're so easy to put on. They come with this cute little um, sack to fold it up and put it in, um, but I think it's Gore-Tex. So it's breathable and it's completely rainproof, waterproof or whatever you want to call it. And it's really simple. All it has is these two little zippers that you zip down, you put the kid in it, zip them back up, that's it. And it even has little knee pads where there tends to be a little bit more wear. Um, so those are a little more durable there. So, oh, I am so excited to use this thing. I got it a size bigger. It's a size 4T and Alex is a 3T right now. Um, this thing costs $30, and so I figured if I'm going to be spending $30 on um, a nice kid clothing item, I want it to last for two years. <laughs> so um, it's going to be big on him this year, but that's okay. We'll just kind of roll it in or tuck it into his boots or whatever and roll up the sleeves, and hopefully he will be able to wear it next year as well. And it's yellow, so it's, you know, a nice gender neutral color so Sophie will be able to wear it when she's bigger too so I'm really excited about that purchase and the last thing here is I'll show you in a second but I bought off of Amazon a kid play kitchen that was the main thing I decided that I wanted to get for the kids for Christmas this year um, it's a gift to both of them because it's something that both Alex and Sophie will use all the way throughout their childhoods and um, I'll show you that in a second because it's out in the garage, but anyway, this is just a little um, utensil set to go with it. I have been looking at the consignment shop for a used set of the little stainless steel utensils because I really like the stainless steel because they're like ours, and um, it comes with the little vegetables and like chicken and egg and stuff, and um, I just think that they're so cute, and I really like how lifelike they are that, you know, they make these little play utensils that are actually metal and not plastic so I'm a big fan of you know we we do have a as you know a fair number of plastic toys too but I do like to get a fair number of toys that are metal and wood and realistic looking as well so I believe I got that for $15 so I just went out to the garage and looked at the kitchen that we got and it's still all completely packed up in its box and there's not even a picture of it on the outside so I'll just insert a picture of it here but it's a kid craft kitchen and it's a natural wood color and it's made to look like it's you know stainless steel and natural wood and we're really a fan of having natural wood furniture in our house most of our furniture um, that is wood is like a natural wood color so um, we thought that it would go well with the decor of our house and um, you know if we're going to be having big pieces of kid furniture sitting around in the house we want them to be nice um, and we want them to you know not be eyesores. It has a refrigerator and an oven stove, sink, you know all of those things. Um, some of the play kitchens only have you know one or two of those things. Definitely was a splurge item. It is the one big item that both kids are getting for Christmas this year and it cost $145. Um, I did look for quite a while on Craigslist. I looked at the consignment shop for several months and I just couldn't find what we were looking for and so we just decided it was on sale on Amazon so we just decided to you know make the leap and just make one nice purchase for our kids for Christmas this year and the final thing that I got I don't have it yet but I'll also insert a picture of it here um, we got an IKEA train set and um, I did a lot of research on how to get you know the little wooden train tracks and the little wooden uh, magnetic trains because um, there are a whole bunch of brands that make those and most of them are like ridiculously expensive and so I actually went on Facebook and asked my friends where the best place to get those are and some of my friends either said buy them used or 
look at Ikea or Zulily. And I don't have a Zulily account, so I went on to Ikea and found that they had a very simple train set for $10. And so, I mean, you can get that used for that price. And you can get an extension set to go with it just so it has a few more pieces and tracks and whatnot for another $10, I think. And we have a friend who um, has extra tracks and whatnot that they ended up not using with their kids. And she said, you can just have these. And so I was like, okay, sweet deal. So I ended up getting a full train track set with the trains and everything for $20. So that is the other thing that the kids will be getting for Christmas this year, but that was a much more inexpensive purchase and very excited about that one as well. I actually got a train table from a friend who was moving across the country and they were getting rid of everything and they gave us their train table for free. So I am really excited about that as well because we already have a place to store all the pieces and a place for the kids to build the tracks and everything. So that's all for this haul. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Our kids have just enriched our lives so much. Like I'm getting teary just thinking about it. But I just love my kids so much and they have just added this whole new dimension to our lives.